Hey there everybody and welcome back to another stable diffusion tutorial where in this one I'm going to be showing you how to take an image, we're going to get to video at some point, but we're going to take an image and turn it into a Pixar uh, related image. And I'm assuming you've already used a bit of stable diffusion before, uh, this is just how to get that Pixar look. So before we do that, uh, one thing you're going to need to download, go to stable diffusion Modi model, I'll put a link in the description, Modi stands I think for modern Disney. Uh, which, whatever, Pixar, Disney, whatever. Go here, go to Files and Versions, and then for this one, uh, download it, okay? So just click Download, and this is the model that we're gonna be using to generate the thing, it's the checkpoint. And once you've downloaded it, uh, you can put it in your Models folder in Stable Diffusion. So you go to Models, Stable Diffusion, and then you can see right here, I have my Modi model, okay? Then you can run Stable Diffusion. I've already done this, so I'm just gonna take this link, copy, paste, boop, and uh, we're inside our Stable Diffusion. Uh, all you need to do is we're gonna do an image to image because we wanna take an image and convert it into another image. So we're gonna take our image to image. Uh, let me take one of my bearded photos back in the day when I was trying to walk across the country, you know? Normal stuff we do, not manic, no, no. Uh, normal stuff. We're gonna take a photo. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure the sizing's correct. So I'm just gonna take this 512 by 512 section, crop and resize, and make sure that for your checkpoint, you are using your Modi model. So that's important. Click that, and then the token for this is writing modern Disney style. Okay, you can't write modern Pixar style. It has to be modern Disney style. Uh, if you look at the, uh, the thing, uh, this is the token for it, okay? So you type in modern Disney style, and uh, let's just see what this gives us if we just generate. It's not necessarily going to give us what we want, is what I'm going to try to illustrate, but let's see what it gives us. So look at that. It's definitely inspired by this image, you know, big hair, uh, somewhat si similar skin tone. Uh, but you can see it's definitely not uh, using my image enough as reference. And what you could do is you could try to bring down the denoising strength. And that, that's kind of like a lame way to do it. But this should be a bit closer to the image. So now, I, eh, that's actually not bad. Uh, but you can see it's a bit closer. What I want to do is I really wanted to capture the essence of this image. So here's the trick. I'm going to bring this back up. Uh, the trick is you can either use control net, but uh, assuming you don't have control net. Uh, in the script, you want to go to image to image alternative test. This is going to give us a different way to do image to image. I'm going to not click override a prompt because I have my prompts. So I don't need to override it. I'm going to uh, not uh, override denoising strength to one because I want it to be 0.75. And then hit sigma adjustment for finding noise and hit generate. This is the secret sauce, as it were. So you can see now it's taking my image. It's finding the noise from that image, doing a reverse process. And then you can tell that it's actually taken my red shirt, it's taken kind of the framing and all this, and it looks a bit better, except again, uh, this is uh, not a dude. So I'm just going to add the word man, negative prompt, woman, and then generate. But all of this, there we go, now we're converging, will give us an image that looks much more similar to our original. Uh, again, if you want a bit more fine tuning, you can bring down your denoise strength. Um, and I've tested this with a lot of people, like uh, a bunch of images, um, and you can look at that. It looks a bit deep fried, but it's looking good. I tried this with a bunch of images, and it really captures the style. Uh, so let me do a different image, me and a poncho, generate. And again, assuming we have all the same settings, it should give us a very good uh, Pixar looking model. And by the way, if you want me to do, oh, this one's really good. Uh, if at some point you want me to do the um, the video version of this, just let me know. Um, it's a bit more complicated. Not much more complicated, just a bit more complicated. Yeah, this looks really good. Um, then just let me know. But uh, other than that, uh, you can take this image, you can download it, you know, put it in your f folder of, you know, files. I don't know what you're going to do with it. 